We've got Veterans Day on Monday, and there are several restaurants and retailers offering perks and discounts to those who serve our country. And even better than that is the gift now being offered to a few veterans at the downtown library. As Kevin Rader reports, it is a free opportunity to preserve personal histories. How often do they ask you, did you serve? Or It doesn't take long to realize that Stacy Pearsall is in her element, which is surprising since she's not a Hoosier. Only 1% of the U.S. population raises their right hand and lays their life on the altar of service and joins the military. So you've got one of the best nose bridges I have ever seen. It's a community she joined in 1998 as an Air Force aerial combat photographer until she was injured in Iraq in 2007. I really was in a bad place and I thought a lot about suicide and could not really see what, what the future held for me. Until she listened to another veteran's story. Suddenly I wasn't thinking about the pain I was in. I was in pain, but I was fix, fixating on the work at hand. Rotate again, just a little bit more. To that man, documenting the stories of other veterans. I had seen a post on Facebook, and I thought, well, that's, that's kind of neat. Kay Ross saw Pearsall's post and thought, why not? I think probably why I was even more interested in it is because it's from another veteran. And, um, I mean, it's, yeah, I think that makes it more special, is that it's another veteran and it's another female veteran. Uh-huh. Fierce. With every click of Pearsall's shutter, the veteran who was told she couldn't lift over five pounds and couldn't stand for any length of time began to notice something. What was crazy is I began to heal with every veteran that I photographed. Do you have family in town? Like Michael Hoffman, who did two stints in Iraq with the Indiana National Guard. Something, I don't know, to commemorate uh, my service, you know, even though it's not in uniform, it's, it's uh, something that, that uh, to be a part of um, somebody wanting to learn more about veterans out there across this nation. So along with her service dog, Charlie, who literally grew up as the dog on the Today Show set on NBC, Bring your chin this way for me, hon. She okay. made the commitment to travel to all 50 states. Eleven years later, I'm in my 47th state, Indiana, and that's what brings me here today. Stay. Taking pictures, sharing life. Yes. I'm a hugger. And hugs. Thanks for your service, hon. I just love these, these amazing stories. And I have over 8,000 of them, so yes, there will be a book, but it's going to take some time. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Now Witness News. Wow, what an awesome project. And you can donate to the Veterans Portrait Project. You can also view some of the portraits and stories on Stacy's website. We put a link for you tonight on WTHR.com.